Guys, greeting from Yerevan Airport. I wasn't expecting to be making a film from here, but I've had an absolute nightmare of a day. Um, I was trying to get out of the country because of the ongoing problems and um, got onto the plane to Tbilisi when suddenly an officer came on, said, everyone off the plane, George has closed their border. So um, yeah, it's impossible to get out of here. I've just booked another flight from here to Moscow at two o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, please God, let me get on it and let me get out of here. Um, yeah, this is a nightmare. Anyway, got about five hours to kill. So um, let's jump in a cab and go into Yerevan and um, have a little mooch about. My God, what a day. That's actually the only white Mercedes I've seen in this entire country. Guys, let me show you something. An abandoned Soviet airport. Check it out. Don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but there's the old abandoned tower. The old Soviet sculptures on the side of it. You can imagine before there would have been Aeroflot planes all the way around parked up heading to Soviet destinations, Dushanbe, Samarkand, Moscow. Wow, all kinds of places. And now, in the name of modernization, they built a nice glass monstrosity with zero personality. Здравствуйте. Блин, так, у меня есть план. У вас есть чуть времени? Есть у меня время. Тогда давайте. Маленький тур Ереван. Опа! Армянский музыка. I love it. I'm now a fan of Armenian music. Хорошая музыка. Первый раз я слышу. Но хорошая. А? Ended rather suddenly. Oh, we're off again. Right, the first place we're going to go and check out, because we haven't done that on this trip, is to check out a Soviet bus station. We can't leave Armenia without checking out at least one bus station. So um, let's go to the Soviet bus station of Yerevan, see what it looks like. Here it's got the Armenian writing on one side, and then here it's got the Russian writing, and over there in Russia it's got Yerevan. And here's an old kiosk. You can imagine the Soviet citizens in the past coming here and buying a copy of Pravda before catching a bus up to wherever. Let's go inside. What treasures does it hold in here? Let's see. Wow. Oh, it's still Soviet. Check it out. Still got the Soviet chandeliers up there, although they haven't been used for a long time. Wow. Listen to the bird noise. And up here is a map of all the places you can take buses to. Can you see that? Это снимаю фильм для друзей в Англии, как это Ереван. Я думал это. Что? Писалет? А, у вас есть коронавирус? Есть? Нету. Все хорошо. Все хорошо. Можно. couldn't leave Yerevan and Armenia without first saying goodbye and paying my respects here at the memorial. The memorial to the 1.5 million people that were exterminated during the 1915 genocide. Behind me is the Ararat Cognac factory. They've been making cognac in Armenia for a very long time. And a little piece of history, random history fact, is that this was Winston Churchill's favorite cognac. And so Joseph Stalin, every year, sent a crate of it personally to Winston Churchill so that he could enjoy, whilst he was back in Blighty, a little tipple of um, Ararat cognac. No, just a yeah. I can't believe Armenian. No, what is your slogan? Which one of you is? 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 Which
Behind me is something that is called the Cascades. This big marble steps construction. And at the very top up there, I see something very Soviet. Some kind of Soviet building. So I think we should jump in the car and drive to the top. Can't be bothered to walk up it and um, check out what it is. А что там дальше? Как наверх? Это что-то советский что ли? Да. Да? Вам надо и мне не надо. Почему так? Объясните для друзей. Гостя в меня. А. The saying people always ask why I never wear a seatbelt and. Um, Basically, you insult a taxi driver if you wear a seatbelt, because then he's like, what the hell? You think I'm not a good driver? So if you put a seat driver on, if you put a seatbelt on, they always say, oi, take that off, you don't need it. So we've come to the top of the Cascades, and up here is this, this big monument that represents the 50 years of the revolution the Leninist revolution in 1917. But what's more interesting is the view over the city. Check this out. I don't know if you can see, it's quite dark and it's quite cloudy, but over there are the twin peaks of Mount Ararat. On the right, the huge peak, and then on the left, what they call the little sister. Mount Ararat is the national symbol of the Armenian people. For millennia, it stood in Armenian lands. It's the resting place, so they believe, of Noah's Ark. But of course, after 1915 and what happened to the Armenian people, it's now across the border in Turkey. But it's here just to remind the Armenian people, I suppose, every day of what they lost. Behind me stands the statue of Mother Armenia. There she is. She's representing the people and the country of Armenia holding a sword in her hand, defending the lands. But before that statue, there stood a huge statue of Stalin that stood up there and overlooked the city of Yerevan. But then, of course, when Khrushchev came to power and revealed the crimes of Stalin, it was torn down and instead, Mother Armenia was placed there. Stalin. <laughs> Right, I think as it's getting dark, that's enough of the sights. I can't really film in the dark. So there's only one thing to do before I leave Yerevan, and that is to try some Armenian food and maybe a little tipple of Armenian drink. Let's go and do that. All right, there's nothing worse for me than um, doing a food video. I just hate describing food. I have no idea how to do it. I either like something or I don't. But this here is Chanach. Check it out. A meat, potato, and vegetable soup from Armenia. Let's um, give it a little try. It's good, but sorry, Armenia, but it's not as good as the amazing Harcho soup from Georgia. Good effort, but Harcho is better. Something where Armenia trumps Georgia is in the history of winemaking. Apparently, the first ever mention of wine growing was here in Armenia. Don't know if that's true or not, but someone told me that. And so I'm gonna try some Armenian wine. Now, this isn't just any old Armenian wine. This is Armenian wine made of the fruit pomegranate. Pomegranate is my favorite fruit as well. So um, let's try some pomegranate wine. could get so pissed on that. That is epic wine. Man. Sweet. Tastes like pomegranate. Probably knocks you out. I think I have another one of these. All right, second course. And I've ordered what seems to be a plate of meat in a gravy. And it's called... Dzhvizhik. Dzhvizhik? Sounds like Chechen. Anyway, let's tuck in and try a plate of Dzhvizhik. Not the most appetizing looking meal. Let's give it a try. Holy shit. The taste of it has just hit me. And it's liver. I think I'm gonna throw up. There's one food in the world that I can't stand and it's liver. 
Oh. That is the worst meal I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, good. Right then, to finish off this meal, I'm going to try some Ararat cognac, Churchill's favourite. Let's um, let's give a little a little sip of this stuff. Good shit. All right, that is the end of probably the worst 15 minutes of blogging of my entire life. I'd rather walk through a market with 10,000 people staring at me and whispering behind my back than ever have to sit in a restaurant again and describe or talk about food. Ooh, beautiful Yerevan weather. Let's get in this motor. Blin, smatri kak bistre, rečka. Whoa. Ah, da, Short. Oh man, if I fall in this before my flight. Whoa, made it. Tak, so yes, telephone. Jengi. Ho, давайте airport, пожалуйста, мой друг. Хорошие годы были. Тогда сплаченные были все, родственники все. Сейчас все родственники, половина в России, половина, черт его знает, в Европе, где, в Америке. Родственников не осталось здесь. А при СССР? При СССР все вместе были. Спасибо, удачи вам. Right then, back at the old airport. Well, that wasn't really the usual type of film that I make, but I had a few hours to kill, and I thought, why not go in? I don't know, show you a bit of Yerevan. Who knows when I'm gonna come back? So, um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Now I've got a hope that Russia lets me in, and that I'm not just trapped. Like that film with Tom Hanks, Airport Terminal when he was just stuck in an airport forever, couldn't get out of there. We'll see what happens. All right then, dudes. I'm out of here. Let's try and get to Arasia and see what awaits us there. <laughs>